Oh man, I get to be a solo singer this year. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandma Nancy, Mama Morris, Patrick Walters. Happy birthday to you. How do you like that? Good enough? Good enough. I ain't a Sinatra. That's it. Get your wish in there. Yeah. Don't know what's happening yet this weekend. I don't think there's any shows or anything. You don't think what? There's any shows or anything in particular that I was... Oh, you know what? I forgot. I got a little bit of this for you to try out. Pothole. Michigan Pothole. It's our Ashby Sterling. 14% butter fat. It's an ultra premium ice cream. This is the chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Let me try a little bit of this. Now, I really, really like this, but when I had two scoops, see these little pieces of chocolate in here? Uh-huh. When I got into the second scoop, it was like, there was just too many. You know what I mean? And if I was younger, I would have liked that. But there was just way too many. Um, way too many. Of these little chocolate chunks. Yeah. So to me, like one scoop's good. But, but check that out. That's pretty, pretty killer. I could probably do without the big chocolate, these chunks. If they had like maybe a fourth of the amount in there. Mm -hmm. But when we first got that in, I almost brought some home that time. I was like nuts about it. I was like, oh, that's my second favorite now. Now it's back to third. It's back to third, huh? Yeah, because the, the, we got one called Milky Way. I'll have to bring that home. That's my second favorite one. And that one I can eat any time. Um, my favorite one, the peanut butter brownie, even that one I'm not always in the mood for. But the Milky Way I can eat any time. See, just like that one bite, I got two of those. Mm -hmm. That's a little much for me. I bet the girls would like that. So I was saying when I was younger, I would have been like, yes, but I'm like, I just want the ice cream mainly. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want all the, I don't mind a little bit of, but yeah, it got to where on that one batch, I was, um, I was spitting them out and I kind of felt bad for wasting them, but I was like, I just I can't eat all that fudge or whatever. <laughs> You like the taste of it? Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's kind of got a different taste. That um, that stuff in there, mm -hmm. that part, it's kind of gritty. And it gives it a, a, I like the texture. It slightly, slightly reminds me when Lee's Famous Recipe had those Boston cream pie, those little dessert cups. When you mix it up, there's a certain texture. Yeah. Those were good, weren't they? Those were so good. I'm still like to this day. I'm like, dude. Those were good. Those were super good. Now I be all hyped up before I go to bed and won't never go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I guess we're just gonna have to go to the Dixie Lounge after this. Oh yeah. Go have us a beer before you go to bed and I go to work up at Mavericks. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. It was good. So I got, um, well, there's your card. Oh, thank you. Did you want any more right now? Are you good? You'll be an antique. And here, this this year, I got you some different little sweets to try. It's just what I need. Let me see. So yeah, so this one. It's just, there's one of everything in there, so everything in there is different. So as you get down in there, you're not going to have to eat the same stuff twice. So you'll be able to... Them girls will have that eat before. You're going to need to put this in your room, because I picked this out for you. I know. One each. I don't, I don't need to eat that stuff. And when I... You you're don't like, eat a lot. I know, but when I start eating it, I'm going to eat. You just get you a piece here and there. I that way you don't, I don't do that. That way you don't drink you a full pop or something. I don't do that. Though. Because I also got you this one. And that's got a few little things, but it, this is mainly just different flavored taffies. So it's different taffies. Every one's a different flavor. And you'll just have to figure it out. It'll be a... I didn't get none of the weird ones, like, because we got a pickle one and stuff. I didn't get yeah, you... Yeah, I don't get me. I didn't get you nothing that. weird. It's all, it's all stuff you'll like. Just so you can have some first experiences. Some orange ginger chews. It's a cute package, huh? Just something like I said, you know, you might have a little sweet tooth and you don't want to eat some and you just a little chew or something, you know what I mean? See what that's about. I got you some cherry drops, old-fashioned sanded drops. That way you can just have a little, little blast. Yeah. And I want to try these because I don't know that flavor. The whorehound. Do you know? Yeah, I know it. Do you like whorehound? Whorehound's good for uh, your throat. Like if you got a sore throat or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I know people come in and get those, and they say they're good. Uh, for when you want a little kick, there's Hot Lips Cinnamon Mint. If you want you a little cinnamon blast. And I got you, there's the Orange and Cream Cream Savers. And then the strawberries and cream. They took those off the market for like 15 years and they're back and never, you know what I mean? Do you uh, remember those? No. They're good. You're going to like those. Just something like when you're chilling, just something to pop in. Yeah, but I shouldn't be eating that, all that sweet stuff. It's one little piece of hard candy. It's stuff for you but to you try. I don't understand. It's stuff for you to try. When I... Well, I'll get. Like I'll it. take it downstairs, Can and I'll it? I'll come up and drop you two pieces off at a time. I'll ration you. 
These are popular. Those are those it's chocolate cream filled little biscuit stick things. Have yeah. you ever had those? No. So the same thing. Um, these are like the same thing. It's a different brand, but it's Pocky. So that's like the chocolate. That's like the banana style of flavor. And then there's a strawberry flavor. That way you can try those out and see what they're about. And then I got you. These are real popular. These mochis, Japanese candy. Have you ever had it? What is it? It's see, it's like a chocolate, but it's almost like when you bite into it, it's soft almost, and it's got like a pudding inside almost. Huh. But yeah, that's mochi. So that's like the chop. Well, actually, this is made in Taiwan. It's Taiwan, Taiwanese, I guess. And then that's the uh, the vanilla kind. Just something different. Try. You want to try one? No. Right now? No. You don't want to try one right now? No. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to go to bed and go to sleep. <laughs> well, well, we'll try We'll try one later. Because like all this stuff I'd like to try because I've never had it. Well, these I've had. But it's been a long time. But the rest of it, I think, it's little things. And this is when you actually want to snap like two or three pieces of candy snack on it. And that's more like if you just want something sweet. You know, I mean, maybe you're going to go to the library and you want something just in your mouth. But let's figure it'd be something you'd actually use. I guess. I tell and, and it's something different. I just want I I wanted you to have something different I've to been try. I'm trying to stay away from what was sweet Well, stuff. you don't have to eat it at all. It's just to try. Well, I do. Me and the girls will help you with it. The girls will help me. But like I said, these ones in particular, I pick, I just put one of each thing. That way you could try the different candies we have at the store in our bulk section. That way you know. Because there might be one of them where you're like, ooh, I like those. Now if you ever bring me anything, bring me those blue sharks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd eat a couple of those. And, and then you, you know what I mean? Then you can tell me like what your favorite ones are. Because I, I like to know that stuff. You know what I mean? We like to know what people like. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. I love you. You say it back. Hmm? Say it back. What? I love you. I love you. I love you. Happy birthday, Derek. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> Tell me happy 77th birthday because I... Happy 77th birthday. Okay. Because when, if I actually make it to 77, I doubt you'll be around to tell me in person. You heard what, you heard what uh, Cody said about Brittany, didn't you? About her going to be 35? Mm -hmm. She's going to be 35, you know, tomorrow, uh, Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. And she's real upset about it, you know, because she's going to be 35. And you know what Brad told her? Brad says you're halfway to 70. <laughs> she got real mad at him. <laughs> well, what's, what's the big difference between 34 and 35? I don't know. Because 34 is the one, because like I said, 34 is when she hit her mid-30s. So 34, 35, and 36 should all have the same impact. <laughs> It's 37 when she's like, oh, now you're in your now, late 30s. Now you're in your now late 30s. You're, now you're going towards your 40 mark. You know what I mean? That's your last three years. You know, you're like, when you're 31, 32, 33, you're early 30s. When you're 30, you're just 30. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm 30. Which means, like, I'm straddling. Fit. I was just in my 20s. Yeah. You know what I mean? But 31, 30, just like me, this year when I turned 44, I left my early 40s and I entered my mid 40s. You know what I mean? So, so 45 and 46 ain't going to be much of a difference because it's my mid-40s. Uh, now, 45, I guess you could think, like, that's really the middle. Maybe that's what she's thinking. Like, this is, this is the middle middle. Yeah. Like, oh, she, she, half like, my 30s are gone. Yeah, almost. Halfway gone. You know? But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, Cody says she got so upset with Brad. <laughs> Brad says, I didn't know I was supposed to, I was supposed to say that. Cody says, you ain't supposed to say that. 
like the girls or the ladies. You're not supposed to say that about your age. Now, you know one thing I do do now? What? And I've always known it. You know, I mean, you don't ever ask a woman her age. Yeah. But when I'm up at Rad Candy, if a lady mentions something and it's from my time period, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? She's like garbage bell kids or something. And a lot of them, for some reason, think I'm younger than I am. You know uh -huh. what I mean? So I'll be like, well, how old are you? And they'll be like, oh. and I'll be like, and they'll be like, I'm old. And I'm like, okay, I get, yeah, yeah. But how old are you? And they'll be like, 42. And I'll be like, all right, so you're two years younger than me. And then they're like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> or if they're like, right my, you know, two years older than me. Yeah. I'll be like, well, I'm right there. I'm 44. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then even then they still feel like, oh, but I'm older. And then what I do to automatically make them kick into it and they, their whole demeanor switches I'm like, so you were a senior when I was a sophomore, so you're like an upperclassman. And then they're like, that's right, little, <laughs> little boy. You know what I mean? They get this high school feel to them. They're like, yeah. oh, that's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> or, uh, or if it is somebody else, I'll be like, I was, a, I was a senior when you were a freshman. And then they're like, oh, okay, like you're an old guy. I can talk to you about old people stuff. <laughs> uh, but it'll be that because it'll be because I want to chime in, you know yeah. what I mean? Because some of them will be like, some of them will be my age and they'll be talking. They'll be like, you don't know nothing about that. I'll be like, no, I wasn't buying that off the rack at Elder Bearman in 1983 myself. <laughs> and they're like, are you that old? And I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like and they're like, oh, okay, well you know, like there was a guy in there today, and I mean he looked 20 years older than me. You know what I mean? He looked like an older guy, but he mentioned something. He said something, he was like, man, you remember when the Three Musketeers were just big, and they were just so big, and I was like, I don't remember that, and he was like, well, how old are you, and I was like, 44, and he's like, well, you should, you should, we're the same age, you know, I was like, oh, are we, you know what I mean, and he was like, we're the same age, he's like, you should remember that, he says, now they come, they're broken in two pieces, and I was like, oh, you mean just when it was connected, Yeah. he was, I was like, yeah, but I thought he was talking like back in the late 60s or something, yeah. when when they were like twice the size or so. I was like, yeah, you know, I don't. They used to only be in one bar. Yeah, I forgot that there are two bars now. Because I haven't bought a, a, a full size one in forever. I just always get the little five packs. Yeah. With the minis. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he looked quite a bit older than me. He looked quite a bit older. He, he'd been around the block, hadn't he? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. And like I said, I, I seen this girl in there last week and she was like my age and she looked younger she looked like she was like early to mid 30s you know what i mean she had that younger vibe and when she was like she said something about like oh, i'm probably older than you think I'm older than you and i was like well i don't know you saying that i'm thinking you're probably my age and she was like how old are you and i was like 44 and she's like i'm 45. she said i don't feel like it she said i feel like a teen i feel young you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, I kind of do. Yeah. I was like, you know what I mean? I was like, my interest and certain things that get me excited, it's still the same things that got me excited when I was a teenager. Like, oh, this person's got a new album coming out, or I'm going to go to this show, or man, I read the greatest book last night. Or, you know, the same stuff. Like, yeah. I was like, I get excited the same. But uh, obviously, like I said, it's just like, Saturday I wanted to go out to a show or go to that Rocky Horror and just felt tired, like down to my bones and stayed home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like literally it's like all the way down to your bones, like, oh, I can't, can't do it. I could go out and do it, but it'd be like going to work. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> He wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, it's like I'd go, I could go out and do it, but uh, I'm not going to, it's not the same as when you're like wanting to go out and do something. It was wild when I went over there to see Daryl and Lisa for their vow renewal. Uh -huh. um, I always thought their girls were like two years. I mean, just in my head, I was thinking they're about two years older than the girls. Um, Evie's 17 and Allie's 16 now because Allie was sitting there talking about something that sounded like she was talking about like registers at work. And I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, the registers at work. And I was like, 
how old are you now? And she was like 16. I was like, you're working? You're like out? She was like, yeah. But I was like, I was like, I just didn't know you guys were old enough to be out. And I was like, and Daryl's like, yeah, it's weird. You know what I mean? Just, she's out working. And she's like, not, I'm not right there. Because like, they were homeschooled and stuff. So they like stayed at home. You know what I mean? So it's like, but like, she's all tall and looks like about a full grown woman. You know what I mean? Still looks young in the face, but yeah. she's just she she's as tall as her mom. You know, I had I had them go back to back. She had like back surgery, so she's not going to get any taller. So I guess she's always going to be like one inch shorter than her mom. But like they're the same. They they look if you've seen them walking, look like sisters instead of that's one of the kids. Yeah. Used to be when you've seen us all, you could tell. Yeah. Same with Nikki. If you see Nikki and the girls walking from behind. It looked like they're all friends. Yeah. You know? It's just weird that we're at that point now where they look like adults. Yeah. Still not quite adults, but they look like it. And it's like, within no time, they will be. Yeah. They will. And then they'll be 77 before they know it. Well, there, you got you all types of sweets you don't need. Yeah, that's right. I don't need them. Like I said, just don't bang them down crazy. I can't do that, though, when I see them. You got to. Like, I just do. You got to. No, I let the girls have